Well, Joy, it's Dan the Beast Severin here tonight against the Searcher. Unbelievable we got a legend like this in the world. And this, ladies and gentlemen, this is the most important match in the history of MPW, Midwest Powerhouse Wrestling, the night that Dan Severn challenged the icon of MPW for the belt. There's the Searcher, the champion's music, right? Oh, wait a minute, Severn has something to say. Oh, great. That's just uncalled for. The Kim Shamrock stuff is uncalled for. Concludes the oral uh, seminar for the evening. Unbelievable the things Mr. Seven said about. Well, let's see if he can back him up because I know Dan Siren is a heavy favorite in this match. But you got to look at it. The Searcher is one of the greatest talents on the independent wrestling scene, and he has had all kinds of chances to review tapes of Dan Severn's matches. But has Dan Severn scouted the Searcher? Absolutely right. In the pre-interview of this match, the searcher said that all he this is going to be the easiest match of his life because all he oh there's the man himself, the world champion right there. He looks like a beast right there. But all he said what he said that all he had to do was go to his local blockbuster and study Dan's fighting style because he had been in so many of the UFCs. And you know, the searcher has a background in shoot fighting himself. Not only a great professional wrestling and martial arts background, but he's also a cage fighter, and not everyone knows that. Uh, Dan Severn's got the submission style. Searcher also wrestles, can wrestle that kind of style when he has to. Absolutely. This is, I got like electricity, uh, almost like it's a monster movie, like two behemoth monsters are about to meet in the center of the city to, to see who's the toughest monster. This undoubtedly is the most important match in the history of MPW. This is the night that the Dan Severn, the two-time NWA World Champion, UFC Super Fight Champion, all-around two-time Super Fight Champion. Two-time UFC Champion and one-time Super Fight Champion. You know, this guy is also he's a UFC Hall of Famer. He should be in the Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame. Absolutely, this man here has 13 of these titles at this time. And he also it holds over over his 4,000 fights in his career. He has won over or lost only 80 of those fights. Unbelievable 4,000. That's, that's just incredible. And the searcher has held over 40 separate titles in his wrestling career. Not to mention his accolades in martial arts, shoot, you know, shoot fighting, cage fighting, this and that. But we're going to see two great uh, submission style ultimate fighting style athletes two great shooters you know I don't know if Mr. Seven realizes he probably does not know this but as you saw right there Mr. Seven probably just got his first glimpse of how agile the big man is and how quick he is with his feet I mean I think that's going to pay, play, pay a very major role in this match tonight because Dan Severn's walking in here the, 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 the man that doesn't doesn't have all the facts. He doesn't know his opponent like the searcher knows Dan Severn. If Dan Severn takes his opponent too lightly tonight, there could be a major upset. Absolutely. Referee Chick Chip Leffler, a uh, longtime uh, Midwest uh, legend in the referee, and now he is uh, he manages and handles the icons with the searcher, Damian Blade and Cowboy Bob Orton. 
This is in, I guess, the beginning of his career, don't you think, Joey? Yeah, this was about a year, year and a half into his career. And, of course, they put him in the most important match as a referee because they knew he was the one guy they could count on to call the match right down the middle. Absolutely right. He was a guy before he turned. There, If you needed somebody to do a job right, he was the man to call. Heck of a referee. He was referee of the year like four or five years in a row. Unbelievable. And I'm going to say he's uh, big with the chicks. Chicks love him. Oh, of course. Severin still jaw jacking with the crowd. I mean, he's really letting these people get to him. Well, he's, uh, I think he's maybe trying to lull the searcher into a false sense of security. Here we go, Joey. Look at that big log up right there. What a uh, night in Hannibal, Missouri. Unbelievable. Oh. Wow, that was like two bulls locking horns right there. Joey, that was so evenly matched. I mean, both men similar in size. Both men uh, uh, just, you know, in mass and in height and in just about in every way. It's unbelievable. This is going to be a good match. I cannot wait. It's unbelievable. You know, Severn has the experience. The searcher is a little bit younger than this guy. And I... Uh, venture to say he's a bit stronger. He forces Severin to his knees now. The Severin turns the favor. Oh, Severin's got him in some sort of choke here. Taking the big man almost. Oh, he's got him down there. See, that's leverage right there. Getting his upper body above Searcher. Oh, look at that. Oh, they, the force of that breakup knocked both guys into the corner. It's unbelievable. As you can really tell, these two guys want to go at one another's hawk. But Severin is master at taking out big guys. I have actually personally myself seen Severin take out a six foot ten, three hundred twenty-five pounder in a matter of minutes. I mean, using nothing but leverage, no strikes, no punches. So the searcher's got his work cut out here. But I've also seen the searcher do the exact same thing. This is going to be good. Well, these guys are still in the process of feeling each other out. Uh, Severin is complaining to the referee about. Uh, Apparently, complaining that the searcher pulled his hair or something like that. Yeah, I didn't see any of that, but I tell you, this is the first time these two have ever met, ever. Unbelievable. Now, so far, we've had pretty even here. Another big lockup from, oh, searcher, did you see that? Dan Severin stepped to the back right, and hey. the searcher in the corner. Look at him roll back and forth, Joey. Why, well, is like, neither man can get a clear-cut advantage. Wait a minute here, he's got him back in the corner. The searcher's going to allow it. We'll see if Severn gives him a clean break here. I doubt it. Look at the left there. He's all over him, making sure. Oh, oh an insult to the searcher. Unbelievable. I didn't think Severn would, would fall. But you know what? That's mind games. He's been in the game long enough. He knows that he's not in there to be the nice guy. Severn knows he's not in there to be the fans' hero. Severn's in there to win a title, and he's going to get inside the searcher's head. Oh, listen to the crowd, Joey. Listen to the crowd heavily behind the searcher right now. It's awfully loud in here. A lot of people here in beautiful Hannibal, Missouri. And I don't know, Dan Severn, I think he thinks the crowd is cheering for him, but I think they're cheering for the searcher. I think what the searcher's doing is reverse psychology. I mean, Severn wants to get in the searcher's head, uh, to, you know, thinking that he's, you know, uh, in there with somebody that uh, he's not capable of beating. But I think the searcher's using the crowd to get in the Severn's head. See another lockup coming here. Oh, look. Oh, oh big and, arm drag. Look at that. A nice move by Severn there. Oh, look at Severn. He doesn't come straight after. I've never no. seen Severn so he's, easily straightforward in there. He's really, really taking no chances here. Another big Leg sweep uh, takes the big man off his feet. Dan Severn certainly is proud of himself right now. You know, the search is there. I'm not quite sure what he was doing. He was When he was down, I think he was so surprised. Not even sure what happened to him. He gets up quick, but I tell you what, if Severn was at his head in the game, he could have went down the surgery, got a hold of him, and, and may have ended the match right there. I certainly don't want to see Severn go down on the searcher. But no, there no, uh, no, that's not what I meant. We're getting ready to lock up again. Big lock up down one the knee, standing switch right here. A nice reversal there by the searcher. Look hey, that. predicament! One, two, uh, oh, that was close. That was almost. Oh, look at this. Wow. Look at that. Listen to the crowd. That was a very near fall on Dan Severn. I think that surprised everyone, especially Dan Severn. I think Severn came into this match. I think what he was thinking, this was going to be a cakewalk, and he's, oh, right to the gut. Look at that. Too big to the gut. Oh. Uh, that was legal, but it certainly.